message on feeding on Jesus International. Still on the theme, the free gift of no condemnation. Two things will happen to you when you re when you realize that when you realize and understand that there is therefore now no condemnation in Christ. The first thing that will happen when you understand that God does not condemn you in Christ is that you would stop condemning yourself. Do you know that many people who are always angry, angry are like, are like that. They are like that because of guilt. Those who are always angry, they do that because of guilt. For example, when a man feels guilty for not being able to provide for his family, he gets angry and takes it out on his wife. It is like having a small pebble in your shoe. You cannot walk properly because it is bothering you. So it is with a guilt. And you must resolve it by going to God and, think, and thanking him that there is therefore now no condemnation because your sins have already been punished in the body of his son. As long as you think that God condemns you, you will condemn yourself. And, you, and your body and mind are so intelligent that unconsciously they believe that you want to punish yourself. So they will say, okay, it is time to pass a condemning sentence on this body. And sickness is produced. The disease is produced. But long before symptoms manifest in your body, you are or you were already a walking civil war. The second thing that will happen when you understand that God has not condemned you in Christ is that you will stop condemning others. You will not condemn those who are also in Christ for their failures. You will even look at the world with eyes of no condemnation because you, you will see them the way Jesus sees them as lost sheep who are without a shepherd. And he said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. John chapter 10 verse 11. Praise the Lord. Brethren, walk in peace and be healthy. Today, the only place that is safe and secure is in Christ. Once you receive the gift of no condemnation into your life and heart, meditate on it and have no condemnation mentally. And you will begin to walk in peace. The same peace that Jesus always walked in. Jesus was always cool. He was never in hurry. He could even sleep in the boat that was in the midst of a storm. In the incident of Mark, 4, uh, Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 4, 39. It was not the storm that woke Jesus up. But the cry of his disciples. And when... Jesus awoke, he said to the wind and sea, Peace be still. It takes someone who is inwardly, inwardly at peace to change a, a hostile environment into a peaceful one. Jesus also calmed the storm in the hearts of his disciples, which is where it's all be done. You can have that same peace because you are in Christ. As you walk in that peace, you will soon discover that you are getting healthier and that some of the cr chronic problems you used to experience in your body are gone. You will walk. Once you realize that there's no more condemnation in Christ, you will, walk, you will wake up one day and realize that the pain in your body is gone. Why? Because when you are at peace with God and with yourself, your body will be at peace with you. Yeah? When you, when you are at peace with God and with yourself, your body will be at peace with you. Amen? Thank you for your continuous support and prayer. Stay tuned and God bless you. You are already blessed. Remain blessed.